So in the last year, I've done two unboxings of Orangewood Acoustics, and they're some of my highest viewed videos, and they have some of the most emails I get uh, requesting even more of them or telling me your experiences with Orangewood, whether positive or negative. And I, I'm happy to say it's mostly positive. And so Orangewood asked if I would do another box uh, unboxing video. And I came up with this idea. I said, yeah, sure. Could we do something really cool? And uh, we're gonna do something really cool. So first let's unbox the guitar. And then at the end of this video, I'll tell you why this is cool. So let's go ahead and unbox it. This one's really nice. This bag is nice. This is nicer than the other ones. It's like velveteen in there. Okay, we have an acoustic guitar. What do we have? Well, today I actually looked at the shipping label when they shipped it to me. This is the Oliver M. Now this guitar, there's a test I called the tink test. It's where you hear a tink sound or a pluck, a uh, high pitch pluck sound on the nut. I just heard it on this guitar. Uh, what that is, is that means that the nut is, the string is binding in the nut a little bit. You can fix that by using a pencil and putting some of the graphite of the pencil in the, in the slots of the nut or using some uh, lubricant, which is a product by Daddario or Big Ben's Nut Sauce, or there's a ton of other stuff out there just See, there it is. That's the tink test. Um, so what's happening is, like I said, as I'm tuning up, you're hearing that because literally it's plucking the string uh, as it jumps. A um, little bit more, a little creaking. A little, that's still the tink. Luckily, if you watch this channel, you not only what I just suggested, you you know the other ways to fix this because we know it's common. Let me get her tuned up and then we'll get right to the review. Usually I fast forward the tuning, but I think I'm going to leave this in. Okay, uh, they're using earning ball strings. This is a solid mahogany top acoustic with laminate back and sides. And that's important because you want a solid top because the, basically the sound of an acoustic guitar, believe it or not, is coming from the top of the guitar. The, the bowl, the back of the guitar, is essentially just projecting the sound or amplifying the sound forward and giving you the, the, the kind of amplified tone of the guitar. But to show you how important a top is and why a solid top matters, is that essentially when you have a laminate top, of, uh, you're taking a bunch of ply of wood and gluing it together and they don't resonate, they don't vibrate as much. Why does that matter? I'm gonna illustrate that right now with this one just kind of quick illustration. So if I strum this guitar, watch what happens when I mute the top. You can imagine. So you can imagine the more I choke this top down, the more I stop the top from resonating, not only the quieter the guitar, but the more muted, the less bass response, the less alive the guitar sounds. So a laminate top is not gonna project as much as a, as a solid top. There is some reasons why you would want a laminate top. Sometimes it's more durable. It won't crack because of course it's been ply. It also takes, uh, like I said, because it's more durable, it takes weather better. But essentially the biggest part of a guitar, the biggest, most important part of the guitar's top is going to be a solid top. <laughs>
The fretboard is Avancool. Uh, uh, sometimes I call it uh, Ovencool, but I think it's Av Avancool. It's not as dark as ebony, but it's a darker wood and it kind of has, a, it's very hard. Uh, like ebony. In fact, I don't know if it's, a, it's not as hard as ebony, but it's almost as hard as ebony. So it's going to give you a very ebony bright snap to it. Um, the nut is bone. Looks really good. Um, like I said, we heard it tinking a little bit, but I think everything I've seen and uh, tried, it's not knocking out a tune. One thing I know you guys always ask is how the neck feels. And this neck feels uh, on the smaller side. It's not a big chunky neck by any means. It would definitely go well with the smaller hands. If you have bigger hands, I have bigger hands. I don't notice. Sometimes bigger hands are just as problematic as smaller hands because if you're, the neck's not wide enough, you feel like you're, you're really cramped in there. This was better for smaller players but I'm a big guy and this is actually my favorite of the three acoustics that I've uh, demoed for them. And um, yeah, yeah, I like this the most. Uh, I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. What I was going to tell you what's exciting was a year ago, a year ago, this from this month, um, I did a, uh, I helped a campaign uh, get 50 guitars for veterans with PTSD. PTSD is something that's very important to me. It's something that I uh, like when I want to tell you guys, doesn't really have to do with military only. Uh, a lot of people suffer from this, but of course the military more so. Um, and what I wanted to tell you was that last year I donated my Orangewood acoustic to veterans with PTSD and you guys helped me raise some funds. When Orangewood reached out and said, hey, would you like to review another one? I said, hey, would you like to help me help some veterans uh, get a guitar? And I asked for them to donate a guitar. Uh, in other words, donate one guitar and lessons to veterans with PTSD. And they were kind enough to do two. So this video is going to give two veterans a guitar, a brand new acoustic guitar in box and lessons. So I want to thank Orangewood for donating that. And I want to thank you guys for watching it. Literally, without you guys watching it, that wouldn't happen. So that's a, a nice uh, thing that uh, that hopefully this, this, not only do you get to check out a really cool guitar with me today, but we get to do something for the people who've do, done so much for us. And uh, I want to thank you guys for that. And I want to definitely thank Orangewood for that. Before I go, not only did they donate a couple guitars, they actually gave me a link to give you guys. Click down below. This is a link to give you guys 10% off any of their acoustic guitars. I got to tell you, on a side note, when you, when you reviewed as many guitars as I've reviewed, when you worked on as many guitars as I've worked on, if you guys notice any time I'm in a really good mood in the videos, it's really nice when a guitar is just kind of effortless and everything's just coming out of it. I don't have to kind of analyze what's good about it or, or, or figure out what plays nice about it. This is a guitar that I, I have to say, I just pulled out of the box and I enjoyed. Now, don't forget, you can also make a donation to Guitars for Vets if you would like. Uh, if you want to, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. You just go to the Guitars for Vets website, G4V, and then you can go to make a donation. And to donate a guitar and lessons, it's $200, if you look here, $200 per veteran uh, with PTSD. So you just go to the make a donation button. It's done with PayPal. What's great is you don't have to donate $200. You could donate a dollar. You could donate $50. You can even make a monthly donation. So if you want to donate like $5 a month, you could do that for a little while. As always, guys, I want to thank you for checking out the guitar with me today. And until the next time, know your gear.